welcome to Dirty Curdy's Customs. Today we have a 71 Buick Electra that we acquired for parts and we're going to try to get it running and driving because the parts I want are under here. Yeah. 455 Buick Big Block. Okay, so we got a Buick 455 and we have lots of rats nest. <laughs> so this car has been sitting since I think the tags or tabs, whatever say, 92. So what is that, like 29, 30 years, something like that. Mm -hmm. So this car has been sitting. So we're going to get to sucking this out, see if we can get a battery in here. I got my mouse sucker 3000. He's gonna be helping me today. He's helped me videotape everything. So here we go. Uh, any dead mice in there? Uh oh, bang it against something. There you go. So a little more about this car. I actually bought the seats out of this car, I don't know, four years ago. And I actually, I bought a 1970s Toyota Celica off this dude. And I tried to buy this whole car back then and it's just, it's disgusting, but it has a really nice dash in it. And this is what I wanted out of it before and the steering column is missing a key so I have to figure that out but oh, it smells oh it smells something horrible in there we've already tar started taking carpet and stuff out of here but oh god so this car was a limited it was white with a black vinyl top black leather seats super nice black interior yeah it smells how you doing buddy you getting it? All right, looking good. We just, we need to get a battery in there. So you can see the license plate, July 92. Longview, Washington, this car was a one owner car. Um, it's been around this area its whole life. Uh, I got it from the dude. His grandparents bought it new in 1971, he told me. And they had it parked under cover when it ran. And then the, it had the transmission troubles. And uh, <clears throat> so he said they pushed it outside. And it sat outside for, who knows, 25 years. So, yep. July 92. Probably was a pretty, pretty sweet car back in the day. Okay, so I got a battery. <laughs> Remember, there's no seats in this. I got a battery in it, but no key. So I'm going to have to pull that ignition out. I don't see anything else working. No radio. None of this stuff. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Something just happened. The trunk pop button worked. 
Let's go see what's uh, in the trunk. Oh, it's still stuck. Oh, won't open. Okay, so I'm back in the car here. I pulled this apart without damaging it. Thank the Lord. I took this ignition out. I got it out. <clears throat> um, took it down. I can't get a key made for this because it's already an aftermarket ignition. So I have to get another one. It's going to take a couple days. So I have this steering column that I know works. For some reason... This, when I try to turn this key with <clears throat> pliers, this little box is locked up or something. doesn't want to turn. So I have this down here, and I think I can turn this on with pliers. This ignition's messed up too. This is why I wanted another steering column, but I'm going to have to fix this up. So for now, I just had this, got this to turn on. It might take two hands. Okay, there we go. We got lights on the dash. All right, let's see here. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? It just turned over. Yes. All right. So I just gotta pull, push and pull that. Yeah, this one. I'm not sure. All right, so. I got the motor turning over. It's got oil. Next thing we're going to do, I already unhooked the gas line from the fuel pump. We're going to hook a gas line up to it and uh, maybe throw a little spark light on there. See what we got here. Um, I can tell that there's a coil sitting right here. This wiring has been messed with. So this could be a nightmare. I'm not sure, but... I don't know. We're going to see what it does. Alright, we're trying to see if the little spark plug right there uh, will turn over. No! No! Get! No! Nothing! Timing could be 
180 out. I don't know. What does it sound like out here? It's hard to tell in there. We'll try it this way. Oh, so we die? So we catch fire. <laughs> Do you have the fire extinguisher out here? No. Probably should go get it. <coughs> hmm? Maybe. Do you want me to go get it? I don't know where the timing's at on this, where it wants to be. Curtis, what? should I go get it? It'll be alright. Okay, well I'm stepping back. That works when you push it in there. It doesn't open it up all the way though. Yeah, no. so as you can see i threw this ready to run distributor in here and just wired it up real fast and just had to mess with the timing a little i think the fuel pump was working it was pulling gas just now so that's good i think now the reason this car was parked was because the transmission had a bad seal the rear seal was leaking transmission fluid as soon as you put it in i guess so we're gonna take a look at that put some transmission fluid in it i have to hook the shifter back up because i threw it in neutral when we towed it and maybe try to drive this or wash it up Light in the back works. Okay, so today I'm trying to get back on this Buick a little bit. Uh, I just got off work, so I'm running out of daylight. Sun's kind of going down, but I want to try to see if I can unhook this shifter from the original column and somehow be able to shift it so I can move it up and get this thing pressure washed so um, I want to recap what I did to this okay this car has been sitting for I think 31 years and uh, it was a one owner 
or car. Uh, let's see. I don't know what the miles were are on this thing. Yet, even look. But I believe it has original miles, ninety-seven thousand. So. I don't know, it could be 197,000, but the pedals look pretty nice. The armrests were nice. I have the seats in my 73 Electra, which is a black car, two door. I put the took the seats out of this car because they were super nice, put them in my car. So anyways, I wanna try to get this shifter working. Uh, the things that I've done to it so far, um, it had a points distributor in it, which I was getting some faint spark. I could have cleaned the points better and got it running, but I just threw the wiring was a little janky. So I just threw this ready to run distributor in here, a couple wires. Uh, I threw this little can with gas in it. Uh, I just ran this right down to the fuel pump. The pump's pumping it right up to the carburetor. So and it started up fired up i haven't started it up since um i gotta plop another battery in here if i can get this to shift i don't know if it has brakes there was a little bit of fluid in the master cylinder and so i'm hoping that maybe it'll have some brakes i don't know i don't need to move it far but i want to try to get this thing pressure washed um so anyways that's it i'm out here flip-flop garage today and we're gonna try to make this happen here real quick so i will get back with you <clears throat> okay i'm back in here and super easy i could have done this the other day pliers i have this other steering column still hooked to it because i couldn't get this ignition in here i have this pulled out this is the ignition lock i don't know it's so sunny you can't really see in there there we go so anyways there's just this little tab in there that the ignition goes on and i can turn it with a pair of pliers but i i don't know for some reason i couldn't get it to turn the little lever in there to uh push on that box and turn it over but now i'm able to at least turn it on and shift the gears so if i throw a battery back in this and move the steering column out of the way the brake pedal does move so i'm gonna try and drive this thing up and at least uh wash the windshield off and then maybe we'll go further i, I need to change the oil on this motor i want to save this motor so I gotta see if I got oil in a filter for this thing. I should. So, yeah, I'm gonna get a battery and we'll get to her. So, easy enough, easy enough swap. GM car, GM car, side post, side post. Look at that. This battery's even got a handle on her. All right. So, another thing, we couldn't get the trunk open before voila got it open and typical this is typical with these old buicks i have one does the same thing rear window probably leaks because this trunk seal looks good still and uh they fill up with water my car does the same thing and i put a new trunk seal on it but back there the rust I need to wash this whole girl. Whew. All right, back to this. So, nothing in the trunk except for the original high lift jack. The spare is gone. Actually, I think the spare might have been on it. I don't know. We uh, threw some tires on there that hold air. So, got the battery in this. I got a bucket. I got to try to finagle that steering column around. Uh, out of my way. So I can at least try to give her give her a shot at driving. Uh, probably need to move this car. Okay. Well, I guess I was doing it right. I uh, okay. I'm gonna put a bigger gas can in here. So I threw a longer fuel line on it. I was kind of just pumping out the rest of what was in here. Uh, we're gonna. I'm waiting to drain some gas out of a bike over there, 
and then I'm going to attempt to drive. Close this trunk. My oldest son is here today and he's going to help me videotape. I don't know. Caden, what do you think? Throw the 22s on it? Yeah? You want to do something, Mark? We can.
park won't work for us. We're fogging up more now. Any windows yet? No, nothing. Well, come down the hill with no brakes, had to find somewhere to stop. Whew. Good thing for a tree there. Didn't really hurt anything. <laughs> yep, Caden threw a rock into the tire, but it wasn't enough to stop it. No brakes. Well, I don't think there was any damage at all. This, yep, was already hanging off. So, ooh. We're good. What do you think, Caden? We're good? No damage? Yep. Maybe a little scratch on the hood from the trampoline? Whew. All right. Well, we took a car that's been sitting for 31 years, and we got it running. We took it on the road, sort of driving, and cleaned it up a little bit. We're obviously not done. It still hasn't, has no seats or anything, but the main reason I wanted to test this car was the engine and transmission I want those for another project and I think we did just that so we'll see you guys later